Yeah, dog. Uh. Walk, what is this game, Billy? <laughs> I don't know, because I'm not on the title screen. Don't give me that disdainful look on your face, you fucking No, that was, uh, that was a, uh, not a disdainful look. That was a uh, pain. Oh, that was a pain. disdainful look. Uh, this is um, Lost Planet 4. Really? Yeah. Yeah, the... Interesting. Yeah, the... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to do a standard. Yeah, I do standard the first time. This game is hard. Yeah, Lost Planet 4. This time it's personal. This doesn't look like Lost Planet at all. Yeah, I know. It's, it's like how world. Lost Planet 1 and 2 and 3 all look different. Ooh, this is getting hot. <laughs> do you think she's going to get out of this? No. Oh. I'm sure she'll be fine. Yeah, she probably made it. She probably ducked out of the way and the guy's hand got they chopped did, they, off. They tried to do that to Ada in the first game. Chop her head off? No, the where they try to like say, yeah, they sacrifice, put her on the altar. They do that. They tried to do that in the first game. Or the original, I should say. I don't remember this part. The other... Lost Planets. <laughs> <It's> like <laughs> they use footage from the other game. That's funny. Yeah, this doesn't seem very Lost Planet to me. Yeah, maybe they're going a different way with it. And they're just like this. This this the one guy's personal story of Lost Planet yeah. Four. Oh, there's the training. Training montage. What happened? Time, can be no. Yeah, what happened? We started playing that that game on the show and never finished it. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> now I'm in Eastern Europe and I take. Yeah, of the um the remakes, I think this is the best one. Oh! Number three is the worst one for you sure. You think number two is a good one? Yeah, number two is good. You're nowhere. Oh, you got the special outfit. That's my. That's the outfit I was using. Oh, nice. You can change it if you want. Oh, okay. It's not a special outfit. It's just his. Uh, it's just wearing his hat. Well, he's, well, yeah. I unlocked a hat for him, but then, like, you know how normally you you, you lose the jacket pretty early on in the yeah, game. Yeah. So it's the same it? thing. So like, I have it set so you keep it. Okay. So yeah, you, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to normal him. There's also um. You have to go back to the. I main. saw the tuxedo one. Yeah, there's the pinstripe one. You have to go back to the main menu to change it. Maybe, ooh, maybe I'll do the tuxedo one. That was fun, but I'll let this play out. I can always change it. You next. have to, yeah. You have to go back to the main menu to change his outfit. I'll change it next episode. All right. You can change his hat, but you can't change the jacket. Okay. So you can, if you, when you get control, you can get rid of the hat if you want. So, Billy, you haven't seen anything of this, huh? Uh, only, like, one or two things, but basically yeah. nothing. That's pretty much where I was at with it, too. I didn't really uh, look up anything. Policia. I'm an old man, and I have to piss out my ass. Because <laughs> I ate that like kidney stones. Because I ate that bad margarita pizza. <laughs> See, you know how, like, earlier, uh, we were talking about The Last of a Show, and how they, like, don't, um, or, like, they kind of rip too much, like, for me, personally, I felt that they ripped too much of the script from the original, and just copied it verbatim into the new one, or, like, into the show. Yeah. See, this stuff has, like, the same sort of, like, setup, because it's a remake of, a, of an old game, right? So, like, you know, he's got, you know, there's certain beats like that where he offers him a cigarette, right? In the original, like, you know, he's, like, Leon's doing his little voiceover thing, and then the guy just offers him a cigarette, and then he waves it away, right? But it's like, let's see, like, just something simple like that. They, they just slightly... Yeah, they changed it a little bit, you know? Like, not that they have to, but it's just, like, it doesn't feel like they're just aping off the same thing. Like, they're not rewriting it, you know? <laughs> Maybe you better go and take a look. 
I mean, I wasn't actually being serious, man. I'm pretty sure he'll be right back. Oh, oh okay. See, like, they're like, okay, they kept that line. Like, ah. Uh, yeah. Like, that's, you know, just, like, that's one line, though. <laughs> <laughs> Not the whole... Not the whole thing. So, yeah, if you hit start and you go to extras... Extras, extras. You can get rid of the uh, hat, and you can get rid of Ashley's sunglasses if you want. I got a B on my first playthrough, so if I get an A, I get I can unlock more stuff. And yeah. then if you go to Ashley's accessory, then yeah, I just do none. Okay. And then Leon's costume is jacket, but for the first little bit, you'll be using the jacket anyway. Yes. I'm cold. I like the jacket. I was always bummed by the original one. You got rid of it because I'm like, Ugh. I like the jacket. There's a boot here. See what's taking so long. That's your objective. Uh. Ugh. So like in this too, like they recontextualized the beginning. Like you know, before it was just a cutscene. He takes a leak. He gets back in the car, and then you go. I like using R1 to run because you can you hold it. Yeah, I like that better. Rather than toggling it. Oh, oh! Let me put my face near it. Oh, oh! I think I need to taste. Oh. I think I need to taste it to understand how gross this is. Oh, there it is. Oh, I like that he covers his whole head. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? Is everybody home? See, they've got the Capcom's gotten really good in these games of like cluttering up an area to make it look shitty. Yeah. Like, like ever since seven. Yeah, like seven was like the first one that did it, and then like every game afterwards is like they've been able to like populate areas with all these details that like look. Like a rundown, shitty shack house. Like I wouldn't like to live here. No, but that's but that's what I mean. Like even in like you know, Resident Evil Eight, like they had that detail in there. What did you think of Eight? Did you play it? Uh, I did not play it. Oh okay. But you know, I watched it. It felt like a to me. It felt like an expansion more so than a sequel. Yes, that's kind of what I got from it. Like it's it was good, but I would say Seven was better. Hello? Seven I'm just breaking and entering. Is anyone here allowing me to break and enter? Yeah. Yeah, that's normal. I hear that water dribbling. You guys got a hole in your roof. Did you see that? <laughs> Yeah, you know. That's all he cares about. It's like, you got a hole in your roof. Did you see it? Y'all need to get it fixed. Anyone here? Oh, hey, man. Um, Sir, you know you got a hole in your roof? I'm the... Sorry to barge in like this. You know, I'm just here. Just wanted to talk. I don't know Spanish. Oh, too soon, Billy. He does know Spanish. Oh. Well, I don't know Spanish. Excuse me. See, this is showing you that you can parry attacks in this game. And then kick the shit out oh. of him. Oh. You neck. broke his fucking neck. Oh my fucking neck! It hurts so bad. Is it? Is it bad? Is it bad? It looks. It does it look bad? It feels bad. What? Oh, this. I thought you were gonna say this is not kosher. What do we got in here? Man, that stinks. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh, I need to taste it. You don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> oh. oh. 
<laughs> what if that was like Leon's thing? Like he has to taste everything in order to understand it. <laughs> it, look, it looks just rancid immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Like you can tell what it is, is not good. What does X do? Oh, okay. Mario not- Fernandez Castano. It is not good. It's not a good <laughs> yeah, like time. It's, like, it smells bad. Like, it's clearly not good. And he's like, oh, I need to taste it to understand. <laughs> People are like, what? Leon, no, you don't. You don't have to do that at all. <laughs> I'm going to check out this room that I missed. Okay. Okay. Like, well, this is a little humble of bold. You think they got mold there? Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> certainly. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, for some reason, of, yeah. um, there's a little bit of drift on my right stick. I don't know why. Um, so if you open up, like, your... Uh, I think I think Tringle. Does Tringle open up the thing? Tringle? The case, yeah. You can rotate the case with the right stick for some reason. So if you don't happen to notice it start to rotate, that's just because my the right stick has some drift on it for some reason. Oh, okay. I don't know why. Seems like you need to recalibrate your dead zone. Eh, I don't know if I can on this. I think there's a way, but don't quote me on that. I am no PlayStation aficionado. Yeah, I don't know. Could just be the controller. I don't know. I've right. dropped it once or twice. <laughs> right. You know me. I drop my controllers every once in a while. Hey, yeah, toss them into the ground with anger. Every time you play hey, Golden that was, Ring. That was one time, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can stand with the knife. So, yeah, the knife has durability now. Which, at first, I'm like, that's dumb. But then, as I played the game more, I'm like, I get it. I get it. Got it. Got it, guys. I get it. You. That's a big rat. Yeah, come here, rat. Fuck you up, bitch. Why are they writing on their rags and their sheets? You know, maybe it says yesterday's kill. This sheet needs cleaning. <laughs> yeah, please clean this sheet before putting on top of me. <laughs> then there's like, eh, fuck it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> What's it gonna Let's do? Put it here. Yeah, this place definitely smells like mold and like that sweet. Like pungent uh, smell of uh, decay and uh, and blood. What'd you say, Bo? Yo. <laughs> oh, he must be having kidney stones. Yeah. Classic. <laughs> so there's um. There's certain parts of this game I think they did like better than the original. Like I think this intro is a lot better. Oh my god, this guy looks sick. I better taste him to know, though. <laughs> I better lick his lips. <laughs> yep, he's definitely dead. He's definitely dead. <laughs> I have confirmed it. Why am I shooting? Yeah, who am I going to shoot? Who, who, who's the shooting? What was that? <laughs> oh my, mister. Oh, your, uh, your sticky is a little sticky. My sticky is sticky. Yeah, your uh, your right sticky. Do you mean the trigger? Yeah. No, that's intentional. This is intentional. Yeah. No, that's the controller doing its thing. Oh. It does a. Uh, it's got resistance. You can hear it when it changes. You okay. can like you can hear the gears in it moving. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, they do that. That's that's by design. I'm <laughs> like, uh, your controller seems to be a little sticky, Taylor. Nope. Nope. That is by design, my friend. You haven't really played many of the PlayStation games that have that feature in it. It's no. pretty sick. Yeah, they, it adds resistances to the to the trigger, so it feels like you're actually pulling like a trigger of a gun. You can crouch. If you hit circle, you can sneak and try to crouch and then stealth kill them. If you want, but you don't have to. I do like to stealth. I am the master of it. Yeah, so that's the um, the adaptive triggers that they have in, those, in that um, controller. Okay. I think there's a cabinet you can open down there. <gasps> At the base of the stair. Yeah, that one. But what if they see my butt? I think they went in that room. So as long as they don't go in that room, you're fine. 
you can go in there. I think there's some 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 folks in there, but I don't I don't know if it's worth trying to kill them. At least early this early on in the game, and you've only got six bullets. Yeah, I whiffed a couple, not knowing that uh, that this trigger was yeah, the trigger was. I thought the trigger was just sticky. No, 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 no. That's like I said. That's the adaptive trigger. And in certain parts of the game too, like if you're um, you get to drive the boat a little bit. Like the triggers like will vibrate. It's pretty cool. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot you haven't you haven't played a game with that in it. No. Before. I was very confused. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Like. Um, it's something that nobody really talks about with like the PlayStation 5 and even like the Xbox. I think um, the original Xbox One, I think, had that feature. Hello, is that you? Mario, is that you? Oh, that's not you, Mario. Mario! Ouch! I could have taken him. See? That's kind of reminiscent of the original game when you just arbitrarily jump out of the window for no reason and then... What's that guy's deal? <laughs> I guess it's because he's bald. <laughs> Gets these he has no hair on his head. <laughs> now I'm just gonna casually run away on this bloody, bloody bridge. Bridge. Everyone likes a good blood bridge. I remember the one from Zelda. It was pretty good. The one thing I kind of don't like, I will admit, and I wish you could change this, is the the fact that they don't. Um, they don't allow you to have the laser like it's a thing that you have to buy. Um, I think it would have been better if they had just let you choose. Like, between laser or reticle. I don't really like the reticle. No. But just, like, it kind of, for me, it kind of detracts from the immersion. Yeah, I get it. I mean, not like, it's not horrible. I'm not complaining that that much about it. But I liked how in the original game you had the, the laser. But I guess I understand for certain weapons, like, it didn't really make sense for it to have a laser. Like, why would this antique shotgun that's been sitting in this village have a fucking laser on it, <laughs> Yeah. You know? Customize the case. Yeah, so the, you get charms by doing the shooting gallery in okay. this game. It's really, like, it's kind of a useful thing. So that it adds, like, just perks. Um, you get, like, you know, um, craft more ammo from thing. Craft... Uh, certain things heal for more or whatever, you know? That type of shit. The The gun range in this game is fucking annoying. <laughs> I will admit. It's a lot, lot... I feel like it's a lot more difficult than in the original, but you'll see it when you get there. Why does that grow? Have gunpowder. I don't know. No, can't do it. If I had a fucking, uh, what you call it, a mouse, I could totally shop you both could, of those. You could, yeah. But a control, no. Not gonna happen, not for a hot minute, until I played it long enough. I know, yeah, this game you gotta get used to a little bit. It handles a lot different than the, um... With the other ones. Like, even like the remakes, it handles very differently. Um, and that's what I like about it. I don't know. It feels almost like an entirely new game, even compared to the original Resident Evil 4. Like, yeah, the, the kind of the stuff that you go through is the same, but like the way it plays feels very different. Pestas. Pitas. Pitas. I love pita bread. There's a lot of traps. Excuse you. Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, oh, sir. <laughs> so one thing, one thing I'll tell you now that I didn't figure out for a while, or they, they tell you at some point, melee him, melee him, go up and hit X. Oh, when they have that arrow over them, that means they, you can melee them. Uh, uh. Uh oh, you're gonna have to use your fucking healy dude. Oh! Get him. 
Oh! I'll go up and stab him. Hit armor two. There you go. Otherwise, he gets the cracky neck and comes at you. Everyone loves a good old red cracky neck. Anyway, that's what you're saying. You gotta heal yourself, homie. I've got a Tri five. Trinkle? A five. You gotta go on your case and do it. There you go. Alright. It's like it never even happened. Yeah. Anyway, what were you gonna say? Um, it's hard. It, you'll notice it once they br actually bring it up because they don't they don't tell you out the gate, but you can do it still. Because remember, I told you that there's a parry move in the game. Mm -hmm. So when that dude attacks, you see your little knife icon. Uh -huh. L1 will appear right next to it when you can parry and attack. So if you hit L1 as they're attacking, you can parry their oh, attacks. Okay. They don't tell you that until later in later. the game. Okay. So that way, like in the beginning, you're supposed to like get hit a bunch. <laughs> but um, if you know that. Oh, and those don't do damage, they just stun you for a minute. Yeah, is, I see that. Yeah. Those are annoying. But the enemies can step in them too, which is good. Because in the original, they didn't do that. <laughs> Whoa, you sir. missed me, sir. Come on. Um, but yeah, the only thing with the, with the parrying... Yeah, when he does that, you can kick him. <laughs> you fucked. Um, yeah, the only thing with the pairing is that, of course, it, it uses up the durability of your knife. So that's the only thing you got to be mindful of. Flash Granado. Oh, yeah, and you can assign weapons to your D-pad if you go into the... Oh, there, it already does it. Perfect. Yep. I know how to throw a grenade, dude. Okay? <sighs> Fuck. Jesus. Um, yeah, and you can craft... Hold it, or what I usually do is just if you go on it, hit square, and then just move it over the item that you want to combine it with. Oh, okay. And yeah. then you can drop it on. And there's also there's also an auto sort button. If you go in back in there and you click the left stick, it'll just auto sort everything, which is usually what I do. Okay. Because in the original game, that's one thing that the you had to do a lot of was like organizing your stuff because there was no auto sort button, but now there is. Reminds me of Diablo. Yeah. Gross. Nasty. Oh, here we go, Billy. This is the first, uh, the first real hurdle. <laughs> Everybody's favorite part of the opening of this game. It's the fucking village part. Hmm. I'm sure that guy's fine. Yeah, he's fine. They seem to be enjoying it. Yeah. Chicken. Right, chicken. Okay, so we got an axe man. We got a man man. We got poop man. We got an old man with a thing. Chicken. 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 I know I saw a girl. Yeah, they represent more. They actually have more women in this game than the original. So you kill a bunch of women, too. <laughs> represent? <laughs> well, like, even in the castle, like in the original game, when you get to the castle, it's just all men from there on out. But in the castle, there's actually, like, women cultist people, which is pretty cool. I think once we once you reach the island, there's no more women, but I don't know. <gasps> Yeah, baby. I'm gonna have my other poop in a little minute. Uh oh. Oh no, they saw ya. Well, kick her. I'm not kicking her. Too far away. Well, you gotta get in the habit of bum rushing them and kicking them. Oh yeah, no! You gotta, you gotta <laughs> keep, you keep crouching every time. <laughs> yeah, I keep thinking that uh. Circle, yeah. Excuse it's our, me, R one or either cl or click in the stick and then you you'll spread. Excuse me, guys. I'm going over here. Just gonna reload real quick. Oh, hello, sir. Nice to meet you. Oh, oh dodged it. Um, let me, let me go in. Close that. No, nope. no. I said I'm gonna close that. Oh, 
Lanterns and a chainsaw. I think by going in there, you actually spawn the chainsaw guy. That makes sense. I love luck, but I also love fighting. Back up, dude! I think he's chainsawing through the door right now. Yeah. That. X. Yeah, that. That. You've been playing a different game that uses a different button. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, baby! <laughs> I'm just gonna take that real quick. Oh no! Excuse me, guys. I, oh, <laughs> I just I just need a goodbye. <laughs> He's gonna run around for a while. Just gonna. Alright. Alright, come at me, motherfuckers. Oh man, he took that like a fucking champ. Yeah. No, thank you, sir. Kick him. Oh! Somebody laid an egg. Yeah, when you hear that crunch, that means they're dead. We got the brown egg. Oh, got the brown egg. I am the king now. Lord. I don't know what that There's is. There's so many. You need Ashley to get her in there. Oh! Yo, watch out behind you, dude. They're probably coming up on you. Uh-oh. Shotgun is down on the on the D-pad. Oh. Thank you. Oh. I'm just gonna just gonna do this real quick, guys. Hold on a second. All right. I should use the spray. Oh, hold on. You might you might die anyway. Oh yep. yeah. You're dead. Um. Ooh. Yeah, you're gonna want to use the uh, the red greens with the yellows. No, oh, that's the full one now. No, the no, because that increases your health. The yellow mm. increases your health. Mm. So I, anytime I get a red green, I try to save it until I get a yellow. But that's just me. You do what you need to do. <laughs> I will do what I need to do. Which is learn how to play the game. <laughs> yeah. This game, like, you, you almost do have to kind of learn how to play it before you can hop into it and, like, get going. Like, get a momentum going. You can sneak and kill that lady over there if you just don't get caught. You just happen to get caught by that lady if she was coming by. I think there might be a yellow over here or something. I don't know. I, there might be. I, I could be making that up, perhaps. Fucking chicken. Fucking yeah, so you can you can knife attack by either L1 and then hitting R2, or just R2 does like a slash. But yeah, when you have the annoying thing, I, I've tried to do that before too. I saw what you're trying to do. Like you pull the grenade and you tried to just throw it, but no, you like have to aim and throw it, which is kind of weird. But I think I'm still got like a lot of uh, uncharted stuff yeah. on my mind. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this game's got its own system and like set of mechanics that are different. So I understand. Like even I had to kind of like relearn how to play this game when I first picked it up because it's like yeah, it it's similar enough to the original but still different. This part is always, like, I always hated this part, anyway. Like, it, it, I like it because it's cool, but it's also, like, it's also, like, fucking hard. <laughs> Fight them off. Are you not dead? I don't know. You can also parry the chainsaw. I don't know if I told you that. No, but you, I assumed I could. You, you can, but I, it pretty much uses up your entire knife. This is a bad position to be in. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> and those you can parry also. Your knife, your knife is almost <laughs> gone, though. Oh, fuck Jesus stop. Christ. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't grab it yet. I'd almost say you might as well just die and, like, just do it again. But, or at least, like, try and, like, figure some shit out here and then be at peace with the fact that you might die. <laughs> 
Or you can go try to get the first aid spray. Where the fuck was that? It, it was, was in, the, the, it house. Was in the house. Yeah. So that just spawns more people. Yeah. I did this. Um, I did this part on my my new game plus playthrough, and like, obviously, it was a lot easier because I had like upgraded weapons and stuff. But like, that was kind of it. Was the fact that like, um, I think if you don't go in the house, it doesn't spawn the chainsaw man right away. We just dive through this fucking. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I just need to. I don't know. Here it comes. But at the very least, it delays his spawn. You know. Yeah. Ew. You got some fucking eyeballs, dude. Yeah, it looks like he's got fucking gun on him. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I figured, like, that as an opportunity to learn yeah. a little bit, you know? I wish there was more, you know, like, fighting moves I could actually use yeah. in terms of melee. Yeah. Like, at that point, my gut reaction would be to start, you know, kicking. Yeah, this thing Resident Evil 6. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, Billy, I'm going to cut the episode here, and next time on Chinstrap Chaps, we will continue to play. All right? Yeah. Bye. Goodbye.